We're here this afternoon, Metal Warning, with Ice T and Ernie C. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good hey, afternoon. thanks for having us, man. What's up? Oh, great. You guys, well, from I went outside earlier on and spoke to some of the guys that had actually caught your set, and they said it was incredible. Short, but incredible. Yeah, well, you know, we've been out here on tour, and we're usually playing an hour and a half, and then they go, okay, you got 35 minutes. <laughs> so trying to put five albums into 35 minutes is a task, but sometimes it comes off more brutal comes off better so we got in and out but the audience seemed to enjoy it, it was loud Jamie Jassa came out at the end rock cop killer with us and uh, we just happy to be here at download fest it's always a good time yeah always a good time super I've got to congratulate you on the club it, uh, it's always great to hear such really fiery and you know furious lyrics that mean an awful lot to an awful lot of people and it's very important to you. And you always seem to be one of those lyricists that sort of talks talks about the things that are very important to you and, and, and very important to uh, the social setting around where you're from. How important that is still to you to keep that message coming? I mean, that's what I've always been about. I mean, that's who Ice-T is, you know. He's, he's going to tell some jokes, he's going to talk a little bullshit. But bottom line, he's a serious cat that talks about serious issues that a lot of people shy away from because they're worried about how they'll be received. And, uh, you know, I'm still talking shit about the cops while playing a cop on TV. So, you know, it'd be so easy to shy away from it. But this shit is real. And TV is fake. You know, I'm acting. But here it's real. I'm talking about shit that has to be dealt with. So, the band... That's our identity. That's what we are. We're going to come out. We're going to talk about a few topics. But at the same time, it's got to be fun. It can't become so preachy that you turn out. So that's the trick is how to thread the line, thread the needle to where you're speaking about topics but not getting overbearing. No, and that comes out in the music, I guess. When the music is as good as it is, you can carry the message probably even further into the mind. Right. Well, that's the job of Ernie and the guys. They, they're incredible musicians, and, you know, they make the music first. We make the music. We make 15, 16 instrumentals, and then they hand it over to me, and then I write words right, to right, it. Right, on top of it. That's the process. That's the process. And with the, with the last album, you, you know, you had some really big guests on there. You know, you know Dave Mustaine, Randy Blythe, Max Cavalera, who's a superb musician. Right. Right. And a great writer. Well, you know, we always have people that love the band in the shadows whether it's like Duff from Guns who's a big fan or you know um damn I just my name just fell out from Cannibal Court uh, Chris Barnes Chris, Chris Barnes, Barnes who I worked with the Six Feet Under original Cannibal Corpse. they're fans they're like yo Ice when you get ready to make an album call me see if you're a band You'll be making music, and then out of nowhere you'll go. That don't sound like us, but that sounded like body count, you know? And then you might call and say, Ice, we made some shit that really sounds like you motherfuckers. So what we've learned is how to collaborate with people and let the best of them shine without losing our identity, you know? You heard all those groups in our album, but you can't say it sounds any different than us. No. Right. So the trick is to get the best of them by maintaining you. Right. And, and Using their energy. Yes. And their, and their ideas. So when you are fortunate enough to have somebody like Randy Blythe willing to be on your record, they don't fuck with everybody. Right. You know, right. Slayer don't let you remake Rainy. They don't let people. Right. So when you hit that point where these bands say, yeah, fuck it. Okay. Yeah, that's a great moment, you know. But it's a nice moment for you guys because it's, a, it's like a mutual appreciation of each other's work Ex exactly. and history. Exactly. So it's important for them to, as important to them as it is to you. Absolutely. To, to, to be together on, on, on these records, making more music. Is that your intention going forward? Is to be more collaborative and, and to enjoy, mm -hmm. or is it just going to be? Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see, there you go. Let's, let's see, what's see what's going to happen. happen. Yeah. Like on Manslaughter, Jamie Johnson was on Manslaughter, yeah. Pop Bubble, but 
they Jamie's like, you making an album? Come on, man, fuck that. I got it, you know. So that's what we want. We're not looking for the hottest band right. to try to collab. It's more like friends. Like it's got to be organic, you know. Like you know, whether it's the cats from Slipknot, we're big fans and we're fans. That's when it comes off and it works and it's seamless. Well, it was like me when I was a kid making mixtapes with the Street Sounds albums, you know, right. the Electros back in the day. Right. right. Well, Captain Rock and people like right. that, uh -huh. Africa Bambata. Right. Uh -huh. so those, those artists were very important to me as a kid and we used to make mixtapes, but it was always about the friendship and the kinship within that creativity of bringing that together. Right. Like, we're tonight, Marilyn Manson is here, right? We met Marilyn Manson. He likes us. We like him. That Nebby coat to work with Marilyn Manson. Right. Just you know, and but it has to be friendship first. Then all the contracts, all the paperwork, it, the managers. It's just like fuck that. Send me the track. Bam, and it just yeah. happens. Well, when you've got the opportunity to work with people you want to work with, what's the what's the point? The friendship has to come first. Right. Absolutely. Because right. otherwise, you worry about all that other stuff. Like, like Dave Mustaine, he did the intro to our album. And a guitar solo, and, a guitar. and Dave made it clear, Ice, I don't do this for anybody else. No. I'm not featured on people's records. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, that's what makes it special. So we appreciate it. And, uh, and, and these artists, they're good guys. They're Absolutely, good guys. You're it's, it's mutual guy. respect. That's what you're saying. They're able to look at us and say, I get it. You know, we became friends with Henry Rollins, Butthole Surface, a lot of these bands. Trent Reznor. They're like. We know what real musicians respect being unique. Be unique. Do something that I'm not doing and I couldn't even do if I wanted to do. They could no matter what they couldn't be body count and I couldn't be them. So therefore that's that's where the respect lies. If you sound like me too much, I ain't fucking with you cuz now I think you're trying to steal my shit. Like one of the bands we like new band this year is Power Trip. I, I hear at some points some of our sh like our vibe, but it's not us. It's them. But I respect it because I like the sound. That type of shit. You know. Now they ain't paying me to say I like Power Trip, but if Riley says, "Hey man, I need to, we need to fuck around," it's gonna be dope. <laughs> well, yeah, and I, I, I don't think anyone would uh, would say the the other was with Body Count now. What, what is the, the direct future? What's going on? Are you doing a bit more touring? Are you going to go back and record some more stuff? We're going to make another album. Uh, next year, we're going to go in the studio, try to outdo Bloodlust. We have a title, Carnivore. And uh, our goal is just to outdo our last album. That's it. Not outdo any other band. Uh, we think bloodlust was better than manslaughter. Now we gotta outdo bloodlust. That's our goal. And you have to, I think as any any artist would ever say, is you're only as good as your last album until you could then improve on that. Yeah. That's, that's that's to stay there, that's where you are, and then you're gonna go, you know what, we better do it. Just take it up another notch. If you can't, you shouldn't do that next no. hour. <laughs> Leave it at the hot Because then the passion <laughs> and the energy is yeah. not there anymore. Yeah. It's gone. But it's uh, it's been absolutely fascinating. Finally, to get to meet you guys and, cool. to, and to sit and chat. Yeah, we're real low key. You know, we we'll leave it all on the stage. You know, we we watch the other bands. You know, and pick up what we think is good. And you know, we're we're big fans of everybody. This touring shit is a drag. At some point, you know, riding these fucking tour buses and all that shit. It's hard work. But the the fans, like I was saying. I don't give a fuck if Jimi Hendrix came back from the grave. I wouldn't sleep in a fucking tent to see any motherfucking body. I don't. <laughs> so when I when these fans come out, I want to give them an incredible show because their commitment is beyond my commitment. You know, so we we respect it, but it's it's muddy and grimy and crazy out here. But I don't know. This probably won't show, but we have a show in London Tuesday, a headliner show. We should look, be a little more civilized. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the set will be longer. Yes, all the hour. And, and indoors as well. How do you feel? Do you like playing indoors, or do you prefer this outdoor atmosphere? Oh, no. which, you know, I, 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 I like the lights. I, it's I like I don't 
I'm not crazy about playing in the daytime. No. You know, you a lot of your 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 ambience comes with lights in the dark and we're singing dark shit. Bring it in light. I like the tension. Certain songs you can't do in the daylight, it just doesn't work. So But we're just happy to be here. You know, we don't complain. It's it today we, as far as we looked in every direction there was people, so you can't beat that. Okay. Everybody's been buzzing yeah. about this show today for you guys. Oh, very cool. It's been, all I've heard all weekend is oh, body camp Sunday. They're coming in Sunday. Coming well in they Sunday. showed up. The people definitely they showed, showed up. up. Yeah, they did. But they're very loyal this crowd this this year. They, they they're going in and they're going in for every, you know, everybody's coming in and all the guys the other bands are saying, they just all turned up. Everyone seems quite surprised about the numbers that have been here. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Unbelievable. Hey, we'll be back. Invite us and we'll be back. We would love to have you back. Yeah. Thank you very much for Thank your time, you. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Peace. Peace to you. Too.